Welcome to Constellation Argos Road Travelers. This is your home for everything, from the latest music to cutting edge tech, essential everyday carry tools, and travel tips to fuel your adventures. Whether you're tuning in, gearing up, or setting out, we're here to make every step of the journey better. And if you've enjoyed the ride, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. So, all right, we finally made it to Katanka Motors showroom floor. It says kindly use the door next. Not that one. What's that one? I got this one. All right. How y'all doing? You know, the interior looks really nice. So, y'all have a truck and an SUV. This is about as big as a Titan. This is your full size, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Show the Americans a thing or two, huh? Look at that, four wheel drive. It's got at least nine inches of ground clearance on it. It's looking good. Let's take a look inside. Oh, I like that. It's a solid sounding door right there. Hold on. Oh, that's solid. Oh, okay, I'm liking up. Oh, no sunroof. Get inside this bad boy. Look, you got a power outlet down there, rear seats for vents, nice blue stitching. The fit and finish is pretty good. Some nice carbon fiber uh, inlays there. Look at it, it even has illuminated door seals in, inside. You have child safety locks for those people who want to, you know, don't want their kids jumping out the vehicle. That is a solid sounding door, I like that. All right, look at this, okay. Got a digital, digital shift knob, really. I'm actually gonna turn off the secondary camera so just, just get the whole scene. No moonroof, at least on this model. It looks nice, you got auto dimming mirror. Probably a compass built in, full digital display. Nice leather wrapped steering wheel. All your media controls are here. Cruise control, God, I, imagine having cruise control out here. I, I don't even know how that would even work. That'd be crazy. Let's see, uh, we don't have a key, but you can see there's some nice detail right here, like a carbon fiber print into the door inlay where your arm is going to be resting. A lot of your your elbow, elbow is going to be there. Uh, floor mat is kind of high. Uh, looks like it's a very small footwell. It doesn't go too deep in there. And it's also illuminated, as you can see. The seats actually have navy blue inlays into it. This is very nice. Oh. Yeah, the star, the star I've got on there. And it's actually not a sticker, it's actually forged into the steering wheel. That's actually nice to see. You got a flat bottom steering wheel as well. That's more sports car S right there. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and sit in it. We're gonna go ahead and sit in it. Everyone else is recording too. You got, you even got some solid uh, rock guards there in the step stool. Let's see here, sit inside this bad boy. Oh, it is up high, somebody was short, Jesus. You do get power seats. Yeah, you got that fit and finish is nice. It actually flows all the way through to the dash. Now, I just don't know if someone's buying this today. Hopefully, I'm not sitting in someone else's car right now. Is this, guy, this your guys' car? This, this is yours? Are you about to take this home? Oh, let me get the hell up out of it. No, no, no. It's for the show. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, okay, cool. Oh, all right, cool, cool. Appreciate it. Oh, look, there's even some nice detailing right here some milled looks and stitching little attention to details like that the LED runner in there and even this uh, hard plastic has some some nice decals into it but we're gonna get to the meat and potatoes in a second let me just get back up in here because the last person sitting here was very very short as you can see there were some power seats right there multiple adjustable way seats Zalto Zalto I guess that's how you say it. And then here's your main entertainment console. I will ask for keys. Okay, I'm going to be real here. There's no clip of him getting the keys. They ran out of time. In fact, this was filmed when they had only a handful of hours left out in Ghana. So, yeah. This is it till the next trip, dog. I don't know what else to tell you other than let's keep watching. Later, you got cooled seats, perhaps cooled seats, maybe warm seats. It makes more sense to be cool seats since it's in Africa. Uh, you have your traction control, parking sensors, huh? I was gonna get to that. Uh, your two high, four high, four low, automatic parking brake, 
as you can see it illuminates you have your automatic stop start okay they are doing that out here too. save fuel uh, AVM that might be the terrain control mechanism once the vehicles on you do have manual control let me get my mug out the shot real quick you have your park it's kind of mercedes-benz s with the the shift knob so this will be the release to go into park drive manual mode will be sliding over so you can actually downshift upshift put it in the park up oh, you hear that clunk that was the parking let me end this recording real quick because someone's giving me a call well then while he does that here's a brief history on the company kantanka automobile is a Ghanaian-based automotive company that designs, manufactures, assembles, and sells luxury cars. It was established in 1994 by entrepreneur and preacher Kwadwo Safo Kantanka. It was incorporated as a limited liability, which is into the manufacturing of automotive components and their combination with other parts outsourced from component suppliers to form a complete built unit. In 1998, the first complete built unit CBU was manufactured using over 75% of local components, locally manufactured including the engine block. By 2006, the first SUV, the Onantefo, was manufactured. The current models seen in the video don't have any data sheets available online, at least at the time of this recording and post-production edit, perhaps the reviewer can ask one day and help them update their ledgers. Looking at you, buddy. So I had to hop out, there was a phone call, but look at this, they got integrated step-in bumpers here. So you can put your foot into it to get up into it, kind of like the Ford F-150. Now, I assume this is part of a trim package, the reason with the, oh, auto retractable tonneau cover, that's very nice. Problem, if I wanted to remove it and put a camper shell in it, how did I do that? You have to probably unbolt all of this, right? You have to unbolt all this, so it has that Cybertruck S looking, so the tailgate, does this pop open too? Does this does this swing open? Okay. Here we go. This is the A T E S C. Okay. How do I pronounce this? A brimpong. The Katanka a brimpong. Oh yeah, even got a rear sensor right there for, to do your backing up. Oh yeah, it has the sway. Does it have? A, oh, bird's eye. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Uh, let's see, it's about to start it up. Oh, he's gonna start it up. Let's see if it's a V8 or V6, because we have not even gotten underneath the hood yet. It is body on frame, which is good to see, especially out here, you got a spare tire underneath there. Y'all can get a glimpse of that. Looks like it's uh, not lizard leaf spring. I can't really tell without crawling under there, so. Oh, look at the size of that muffler though, Jesus. Okay, uh, non-functional sign vents. Oh, it's a four cylinder? That's a little disappointing. But for emissions and fuel consumption, that's pretty good. It even has running LED lights up front for that off-road look. Daytime running lights, at LED. Some fog lamps, some nice red tow hooks. The intercooler. Oh wait, is this turbo? This sounds like it's turbo. It's definitely direct injection. Uh, this is before I look at any spec sheets. I'm gonna say it's a turbocharged four-cylinder with about maybe 300 horses. Oh yeah, look at the size of those turbos right there. Good lord. Woo! You see that big ass turbo right there? She's right there, wrapped up with the heat foil. Look at the size of this air box. You know what? They probably doubled down on it just because they know the environment. Yeah. The dust is freaking crazy, and we're out here doing homicide at the moment. But um, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little underwhelmed. I thought it'd be a V6 at least, but a Turbo Four is nice. Yeah, new company, new car. They don't, they ain't got that. My thing is, is it aluminum or is it nickel? Hey, how you doing? Okay, so we'll get the specs later for the truck. I had to put it in post because we got customers coming in. So this is actually one of their premier SUVs. As you can see, it's giving very Subaru STI color vibes, especially with the red little accent right there that's running across the front fascia. You got some daytime running lights right here. Uh, you got fog lamps right here, a wide grill. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a turbo four-cylinder as well. 
Uh, a nice little touch right there. What does that look like? Points in the chat if you know what that is. Yeah, okay. If you know it, you know it. Let's go do a quick panorama. It's about the size of a Honda Pilot, the new Pilot. This is the Katanka. I cannot pronounce that at all. The C's are backwards. Uh, uh, Natakfo? I was close. Crazy how I can pronounce the language better than you. Just kidding, boss. You got it. Anantafo. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to be working all the time with this thing, huh? You got, okay, you got a rear diffuser across the bottom, some reverse LED lights, some reflectors for safety, but I, I am not a fan of the faux muffler thing. It's like, just put the damn muffler there instead of having it shoot down. But maybe there is an emissions law out here, but it's only a single muffler, so that's strange. I'm gonna also assume that this is either all-wheel drive, because it does have a four-wheel drive moniker, but it also could just be front-wheel drive. I doubt rear-wheel drive does very well out here given the road conditions. You do get a dual pane uh, panoramic sunroof. This portion probably tilts and slides open for the rear passengers to get a nice air circulation. You got a small little roof rack right here, but you might wanna be careful because it is glass on top. Even in America, you don't wanna put that there. Look at these companies, VGV, let's see, can we get that VGV and XYG? Okay, we're gonna move on. Let's see if we can get inside one time. Okay, damn, that looks nice. You know what, now this is giving more of the um, Mazda Acura vibe right there, especially with this type of obsidian blue pearl that we got going on. You thinking bends? Well, the, you know, the gnarled, the gnarled dial definitely gives bends for sure. And then if you come in here, I don't I don't think I want to sit on this because you can see they got a cover. This actually might be a customer car. I'm not sure yet. But they do have two different types of logos. If you look closely on the steering wheel there, they have the brand name, right? And then they have the other one, which is just a star. That is a nice soft mesh panoramic roof right there. That is very reminiscent of luxury cars. So they got that right 100%. Kudos to them. Good job, Katanka. And then you have the waterfall Esque. Let me move my face out the way real quick. You have the waterfall-esque dash system that comes down and it integrates nicely into the interior. And this red is really turning me on. I'm not gonna lie, it's turning me on. Uh, I kind of want to sit in it, but like I said, I don't because they do have cloth coverings of it. So this might be a customer vehicle. So with that being said, I think that's all they have to offer right now because this is, that is a solid door too. Yeah, that's solid. I like that. Very, let me just be clear. This is light in the hand, but it has a solid thud. It's giving GMC heavy. If y'all know what I mean by the GMC 1500 or the Denali series, it's giving that. So let's see if we can open up the rear hatch. No, negative. That is locked. I can actually, uh-oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Make sure it doesn't hit the wall or the roof. Very nice, so it's one touch. So there is, oh, let me put the camera back on. There is one touch, I'm sweating already, it's all good. One touch button, one touch close right here. Very spacious, this is actually a seven to eight passenger vehicle. So this is probably their larger family hauler. Uh, looks like these have fold flat. Let's see if there's a quick release mechanism on the seats, no. Maybe the strap here, let's find out. Yes, it is. All right, so the straps actually cause a quick release keep in mind i'm doing all this with one hand people i, I did not bring my gimbal um nice flat load floor ah points lost katanka you were doing good you know i really don't get paid enough for this wow little does he know he's gonna have to run those points right back y'all just keep watching you were doing good why why go all the way and stop here Give them a full replacement tire. I understand the weight savings because there was not, nothing underneath. The, the truck had one underneath. It's an SUV. It's going to be underneath this? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Here, you want to hold the camera real quick? Let's see. I might be wrong. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, here we go. Ah, I am not going to be able to move it. I need the tool to unscrew it. Yeah, first, but it's definitely underneath. We're going to just err on the side of caution to say that it is yeah. and say it is underneath. But I have a feeling if they are copying the Europeans in terms of luxury and refinement, they're giving you some slime. Mm. They're probably not. I hope not because out here, tires seem like the first thing to go. 
period. I mean, most cars, that is the Achilles heel, if you will, of most vehicles, but especially out here with the roads and potholes, especially with the gross vehicle weight of this, plus the weight of the occupants and the fuel, tires are gonna be the most robust option you wanna have. So, with that being said, there is some cup holders. I'll take that from you, sir, thank you very much. There are some cup holders right there for the children to spill their Cheerios and whatnot else they eat out here. What's, what's, the, number, what's the number one cereal that kids eat out here? Out here, um, yeah, I'm sure. So if they spill the cereal, like, you know, you, it can go right there in the cubby hole. You ain't got to worry about cleaning it up too much. So that's also nice. They they also copied, well, maybe they started, I'm not sure who started, the, the headrest folding flat when you drop the seats. I've noticed that in European vehicles, and I've seen the Americans do it, but now I'm glad they are taking some good, like, creature comfort things. So I'm gonna go ahead and close her up. Excuse me, buddy. Go ahead and close her up. It's one touch. So the double beep is just to let you know, hey, I'm coming down. You have your reverse camera right there. Only thing we can't verify is if it's a trajectory type where, you know, it moves with the lines to keep you lined up in the parking spot. Nice rear deck integrated spoiler with the tail light right here for third brake lights. So it might actually work in America because DOT in America, they want you to have a third brake light period. You can be on the road. They actually give you a ticket for it if you don't. Ask me how I know. Uh, with that being said, I think this is all they have on it. We'll get some technical information on it and that's it. I don't even remember how to pronounce this. Oh, there is radar cruise control. There is a radar cruise control. That's actually pretty nice. Nice bolstered hood right here. That's pretty good. So yeah, um, this is the showroom. This was the two vehicles. I finally got a chance to see it before we got out of here and I'm so happy. Does it? I didn't see it. Let me get low. Is it under? See, see, you see, I told you. Didn't I tell you? Run me my points, son. Okay, cool. Perfect. Oh, it's a donut, though. Damn nigga, I swear. Are you never not satisfied? Who cares if it's a donut? It's still a spare tire, right? I love my boss's keen eye. But sometimes, I don't know, man. No shade boss just saying, love ya. Please don't fire me. Ah, uh, so you don't get a full size. No, that's good. I, at least it's there. Because in America, they don't give you those. They stop giving to you. you. It's like a $500 option now. Yeah. And that $500, you could just went to go buy a full tire, you know? So that's good that they, they offer that. Perfect. Uh, well, since I'm here, let me just go ahead and get in the back seat real quick to show you that there is two... USB looks like it's fast charging ports based upon the symbology that might be fast charging. Sorry if I can't get it exactly. Hold on, let me try one time. There you go. Rear vents for rear passengers, individual. And yeah, it's it's pretty pretty large, pretty large. So let's see if we can find a brochure. This is bro Josh. We're going to be riding around this thing probably in a, few, yeah. in a year or two, so yeah. we'll, we'll get on it. We'll have a better in-depth review. Or this. Oh, Maybe brother, you know it's going to be the big truck. You, 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 are, you already know it's going to be truck. It's, it's going to be truck. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys next time. Their tagline, not just any car, it's our car. I quite like that. Thank you again for coming by, Traveler. Show your appreciation by liking and subscribing to the channel. As always, safe travels.